maternal expression of the gene bicoid in Drosophila females then allows mRNAs uh, to be anchored to the anterior pole of the egg and after translation a gradient of the bicoid protein is established which uh, then acts as a morphogen providing uh, information to embryonic cells as to their position allowing the embryo to establish an anterior posterior axis in mutant females that do not express the gene bicoid, the bicoid mRNAs are not anchored to the anterior pole of uh, the egg. And even if the embryo has a bicoid uh, gene which is functional from the male parent, it is these maternal transcripts which are essential. Without these maternal transcripts, bicoid protein is not uh, produced in the egg, no gradient of the bicoid protein is produced, and thus anterior structures, the head end of the larvae, do not form. This mutation then is an embryonic lethal. The embryos simply uh, will not survive not being able to make anterior structures. If a female does not produce the bicoid mRNAs, this will doom the embryo, which will not develop at the anterior head structures. However, if bicoid then is applied ectopically at the anterior pole, this then can rescue the larva. It can develop normally uh, simply because a bicoid protein gradient was established. This demonstrates that not only is bicoid required to form anterior structures, it is sufficient that bicoid expression alone can rescue embryos that otherwise would not have formed anterior head structures.